Hi guys, Miss H here, creator of Meg's Music Room. Today is lesson one of bucket drumming. So let's go ahead and get started. First, you need to get your supplies. You will need a set of sticks and you will need a bucket. Now, some of you might be at home and you don't have those things. So let's be creative. If you don't have sticks like these, maybe you have chopsticks. Or maybe you have even wooden spoons. So be creative, come up with something. Also, if you don't have a bucket, maybe you have a cardboard box. Maybe you have an empty oatmeal thing. Maybe, who knows what you've got. Just be creative, come up with something. Once you have your stuff, let's go ahead and learn how to hold our sticks. Step one with sticks is called fist. So you make two fists and you have your sticks sticking up like this. Step two, thumbs up. Step three, push. So you push with your thumbs and it should give you like long thumbnails. See those? Okay. Then step four is palms down. And now you're ready to play. So let's try that all together. Step one, fist. Step two, thumbs up. Step three, push. Step four, palms down. Okay, one more time. Fist, thumbs up, push, palms down. Now that you know how to hold your sticks, let's do some steady beat together. Just copy my moves. We're gonna start like this. Ready, go. Now, before we go much further, let me teach you a trick for making sure you don't hurt your sticks or your drum. So, first, let's get them ready. Hmm? 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 But this time, instead of hitting your drum, I want you to tap your lap lightly. Ow! If it gets too hard, that's too hard for your sticks, too. It can break them. So, try that with me. That little sting means that's loud enough. Now try that on your drum. That's almost too loud. So let's go back to here. That's plenty loud. So if you play louder than that, you're gonna hurt your sticks or you might hurt your drum. I bet you noticed that I played the bucket drums in four different ways. Number one is click. So click just means you hit your sticks together. Do that with me. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Ready, stop. The second way that I played was on the rim. This right here on the outside edge is called the rim. So get your sticks back ready again. Now hit the rim. One, two, ready, go. Ready, stop. The next place I played was on the head of the drum, which we call the top. All of this in the middle is the top. Okay, get your sticks ready. Now remember, don't play too loud. Okay, keep it gentle. One, two, ready, play. Ready, stop. And the last place that I played, I bet you noticed, I played on the side. So, let's try that. 
One, two, ready, go. Ready, stop. Here is your challenge for the end of lesson one. Hold your sticks the correct way. Don't play too loud. Keep it gentle. Don't let it hurt. And copy me with the steady beat. I'm going to play either click, rim, top, or side. So you follow me and that's it. After you have accomplished that, you will complete lesson one of bucket drumming. Okay, get your sticks ready. I'm gonna start with click. Let me push play on the music. completed lesson one of bucket drumming. Thanks for watching. Check out my recorder videos, my bucket drumming videos, and my music minutes. Subscribe to my channel for updates. Click the links in the description below for my social media sites and for other great resources. And don't forget Meg's Music Room, a music teacher's and student's best friend. Check out my music minutes, my recorder videos, and of course my bucket drumming videos. Subscribe to my channel for updates. Click the links in the description below for my social media sites and for other great resources. And don't forget Meg's Music Room, a music teacher's best friend.